Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This is going to be uh, the energy for your new person. If you have someone new, if you're waiting for that new person. And then we're also, also going to see the energy for the old person because some people do want to know about maybe the ex, uh, the, if there will be a rekindling, a reconciliation. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All links are below, guys, if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. So we'll start with um, the new person. So for those of you who have someone new in your life, let's see how they feel about you. How does this new person feel about you? How does the new person feel about Aries? Okay. The Six of Cups, so they feel like um, your soulmate. Uh, they feel like they can be themselves around you. It feels good to be with you. And they can uh, let their guard down. Um, this also could be someone that you've known from the past or that you grew up with, that you met in your hometown. Um, homesick is what I just heard. I don't know. Um, it also could be... Uh, it's a lot of harmony and balance between the two of you. This is how this person feels about you. They feel like they could propose to you, propose something to you. Um, being with you just feels good. It's a sense of usefulness with you um, or, or sense of service. Okay. So let's see um, how this old person feels about you, Aries. How does the old person feel about Aries? All right. The strength card. So they, they feel like you're resisting them. You're resisting talking to them. You're trying to tame your emotions in regards to them, Aries. You could be dealing with um, Scorpio, uh, Leo, anyone. Uh, but the old person feels like you're holding back or there is a holding back. They feel like um, you won't forgive them or there needs to be forgiveness here. There needs to be some truth and some compassion uh, between the two of you. This is how the old person feels. Let's see what the new person uh, wants with you. What does, okay, these guys are talking. What does the new person want with Aries? What does the new person want with Aries? The two of pentacles. So they feel like right now, it, it, it could be that it's a new relationship here. Um, what they want with you is the opportunity, okay? Um, they feel like you guys are building upon something uh, that could be great, that can be better. They also may want you to sacrifice one of your options if you have options. Uh, this new person may want you to not juggle them or they don't want to juggle you. Um, they also want you to let your guard down or let the mask fall. They want to see the real you. They want to, um, again, they want to build something with you. Um, they also could want maybe the up and down of the relationship to kind of dissipate when are you going to get to a comfortable place where you can, um, once again, let your guard down, take the mask off and say, this is really me. Um, they feel like something is still up in the air. Uh, like maybe there's a past relationship up in the air. This person could also want you to work with them. Okay. Um, yeah, work with them. Understand that they still have some things that they have to take care of, maybe even legally. Okay, so let's see what um, this past person wants with you, Aries. What's the past person? This new person may want you to decide on them. Make the decision to be all in. You either all in or you're or you're out. Okay, what does the past person want with Aries? The Six of Swords. So this person wants you to just um, forgive and forget, move on. Um, move on from the drama, the turbulence, the the problems and the connection. Uh, they could want to move on with you. They want you to uh, just forget about the hurt from the previous relationship or maybe even from the, previ the previous uh, fallout that you had with this uh, ex-person. They want you to just say, okay, it's okay. Let's move on. Let's... Uh, Let's get to a more calm, peaceful place, okay? They want you to be more rational uh, in your thought space, in, in how you kind of um, think this over. They want you to make the choice to uh, allow them to uh, come back also, okay? So let's see what the next actions are for your new person. What's the next action for the new person? All right, so... Um, interesting energy we have the five of swords and the high priestess 
um, the next action for your your new person is they may turn something down or turn somebody down. It might be somebody in the background here who doesn't really have um, a status, you know, with this person. Like they're just in the background. There could be like a secret woman or secret plans or it's like they may, um, yeah, they may turn this person down. Uh, they, may be, they may question this person's motives and then uh, kind of get out of there. Something about defeat. Um, also the background, background woman, this new person, it's like this new person may be juggling you or they feel like you're juggling someone. It's almost like, um, finding out that maybe something isn't over this. The next action towards you from the new person is maybe, um, allowing something to kind of crumble or allowing the drama to happen. This, what is this about? The Five of Swords and the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords. So yeah, once again, they're going to like cut something off. You see that relationship in the background here? So I don't know if this, your new person is going to make a decision to actually put all of their energy, effort, time into you. Um, this other person, woman or man, they're going to cut this off. It doesn't serve them. Uh, it looks like it's a, it's a, you know, self-sabotage, defeating type of energy. It's not um, something that they can build upon. Maybe this person is a gold digger, uh, just doesn't have the best intention, is selfish. Um, there has been a lack of communication. Um, there's bad blood between um, maybe a person in the background and your person's background. So it looks like they're going to get real firm or knowing that they want the new because the Queen of Swords is all about cutting out the old so that they can have the new and she understands that. So your person is going to take the energy of, I want newness, therefore I have to get rid of this old person. Um, so they're going to really cut someone off. So they could have, yeah, you're going to make a, a judgment call here with the judgment at the bottom of the deck. Like they're going to make a decision here. It also goes back to the High Priestess and it governs the twos in the deck so definitely make a decision about uh, who they want to be with and um, what they need to do in terms of being with that person so your person is going to get real firm here in dealing with somebody else somebody that I don't know somebody that they is keeping record or that they have to give something to um, take account for or, or accountability for or account something about money maybe accounting or numbers um, so it could be that this person has to still pay child support, alimony or something. They have something that they have to be accountable for. Maybe even a child or children or the home or something of that matter. So your person is going to say, I, I got to cut this person off or I have to make, you know, draw the line in the sand with them. So let's see what um, your next, the next move from your ex is. All right. Wow. The Knight of Wands. So it looks like they're going to come towards you very passionately, very bold, um, confident that a uh, honey tongue you know where they're just going to say and do anything to try to get you back with the knight of wands you know everybody talks about him being in and out and um you know, that is very true but he also is about seeing something through so you know that the knights are on quest conquest conquering so this person is going to come in and try to conquer you um, they're going to do all that they can to actually do that. They're going to stick around until the job is, is done. And then they'll, they're out like, on, you know, out like a light. But, um, yeah, this person is going to try to court you, um, have sex with you, do something fun with you, be charismatic, spontaneous, adventurous. Um, yeah. In order to try to get you to be with them, uh, either sexually or just for the moment. Let's get you advice for the new person and then advice for the old person. Advice for the new person. Let's see advice for Aries for the new person. The seven of pentacles. So you need to wait, reevaluate, take a passive approach in this, like being overactive and trying to manipulate things or trying to do for 
or, or trying to step in the way of no just wait and, it, and if there is a period of inactivity between the two of you just know that somebody's trying to clean up something here or cut somebody off or cut them out um they don't want you to be involved in it um you might be frustrated with how things are going or how they're panning out, but do know that you've made a significant investment and so has this new person. Therefore, they're going to see it through, you know, um, that's the advice there for you. Let's see. Very nice. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the king of, of pentacles. So, yeah, this is a person who tries to make the best decisions for everybody involved. OK, so they're going to do they're going to be very accountable, reliable, um, and they're very business oriented. So they're going to handle some business and then get back to you. They just don't want you involved in it. They just don't want you to have to deal. Um, let's see. Um, what uh, is the advice for this ex? What's the advice for Aries dealing with the ex? What's the advice for Aries dealing with the ex? Um, the hermit card. Yeah, you need to ghost the hell out of this person. Just go ghost. You see, she's almost closing the laptop there. Close close up the laptop if they're sending you emails, text messages, whatever. Close it up. It's, it's done. It's over. Um, go on your own self-discovery journey. This is not fulfilling. It, it won't fulfill you on any deep level. And... Um, you need to ask yourself why um, you would even entertain this uh, either now or in the past here with the hermit card. Um, you need to look at past experience because that's going to be the key to what you're going to get in the present. It, look at the past because you're going to see, you know, uh, character is just historical reference. So look at this person's character. Historically, they have been, you fill in the blank, historically they have done okay and that's what you're going to get in the present so that's the advice there for this old person um you have the eight of cups you need to go ahead and check out finish this up check out go on this self-discovery journey and maybe a journey into the unknown you're going to discover some things about yourself emotionally but definitely take your feelings out of this rationalize this moving on um, try to move on in secrecy you don't need to make a big fuss about how the fact how you're not going to talk to this person anymore and you don't need to do it. Just just pack up and go. As this person has said, take your power back too. You know, you've given too much energy, too much to this. You're too focused on this. You're almost obsessed. Um, is what I'm feeling for some of you. You just need to just go the other way. However that looks, whatever that is. All right. This is what I have for you, Aries. I hope that it gave you a bit of clarity in terms of new new person, uh, old person. Even if you don't have anyone new. This is what you can expect from your new person when they do come in, when you do manifest that energy. And then also, um, this is what you can expect from the from the old person. Um, if it resonates for you, you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Donate to the channel. If, it, if you took something from the reading, you can always give back by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.